Poundland, not content with selling one solar powered um, garden light for a pound, are now selling little packs of two for a pound. So that's 50 pence each for a solar powered garden light. That's surprising. So let's uh, open this up and see what the circuitry is like inside. They have had an offer on recently that you could choose from three different lights and get them for two pounds, three for the price of two, which is good as well. But this is just like ridiculous that they can actually do this. Okay, so it's using the typical little button cell that they tend to go for, glued into this holder, which is obviously designed to take a sort of half triple A type cell, maybe even just a bit bigger, I'm not 100% sure. Um, or it could be an N cell, I don't, don't know if it would actually accommodate that. But anyway, the little circuit board is based on the 4-pin chip, it's not the blob, which is nice. And if I take that screw out, it will just be the generic circuit board with the LED, the little choke that steps the voltage up the LED from the 1.2 volts of the cell, and the on-off switch. And as always, it's a cold white LED. I prefer warm white LEDs, so I think I shall just change that right now for a warm white LED. So the board is marked, the polarity of the LED, so I'll just get the solder iron and heat both those pads up simultaneously and take the LED out. Then I shall flow some fresh solder onto those pads and then use desoldering wick to clean them off. So a wee drop of fresh solder Lead-based solder, of course. Traditional, full glory lead-based solder that works. Desoldering wick. Flux-coated wick that uh, just wicks any solder up when you heat it up. You place it onto a solder joint and heat it up. So that's the, the cleared. Um, some warm white straw hat LEDs. This came from... CP888 is what I've written on it. Not 100% sure if uh, that's an abbreviation for the seller, but if you go on uh, eBay and just do a search for warm white uh, straw hat LED, you'll find them. So I shall use the existing little sleeves because they're obviously the spacers. And I shall pop the LED in and solder it. So first I'll solder one connection. Check the LED is squarish, it's good enough. And then solder the other connection. And crop the leads. Now when I turn this on it should light up warm white. Yes it is, jolly nice. So back into the housing that goes, with its dinky little screw. Oh, which screw is it? Oh, they're all the same. That's nice. It's nice when they standardise in the screws. At this point I could theoretically have stuck it in my bench supply and given the little cell a boost just to charge it up. But nah, I'll let it do it naturally. The inside is quite well sealed, but I'm always uh, the solar panels themselves, the little amorphous silicon ones, where it's deposited in the glass. They usually have the little moat around the outside. I think these ones have it. Yes, they do. To stop the, um, it basically it seals the uh, back of the solar panel that stops it eating in electrolytically from the edge. But water can still go down the edge and that's usually the sort of failure mode of these things. So I kind of, recently I've been playing about with a tape that um, is designed for garden use. It's a sort of like a very dense 3M tape. I don't know, does it say much about this? It's looks like standard clear tape, but it's actually quite a sort of thick plasticky tape. And what I've been doing is um, I've actually been putting that over some of the lights like this, just to see if uh, that's actually going to help seal. And I don't know how long it will last. I don't know if the 
tape will degrade under the sunlight. But what I've been doing is putting it on like that and then taking a knife around the edge and trimming it all off so it sort of creates a flush surface. And that should hopefully uh, let the light through but actually block the um, rain from going into there. I don't know if that'll make any difference, time will tell. So this uh, arrangement here, there's a clear point that the the position in between these two is probably about the clearest, uh, free of, freest of wire for this battery to go. So I think, reckon it'll probably go in like this. Oh, there is. There's also a wee, uh, notch on the casing that help, helps align it. And uh, the screws go in and that should be it. I might go and stick this in the garden now, though it is kind of rather late. It's dark already. Maybe wait for some daylight before I go and start adding any of these lights. Oh, actually, I'm just thinking, is that uh, a different screw? No, it's not. It's not a different screw. They are all identical. And just to finish off, I will uh, go around with a sharp knife, try not to stab myself in the process, and just cut that round like that. Not necessarily in a pretty manner. Is that going to do it? Yes it is. There we go. And that's all ready to stick out in the garden. Nice warm white solar light.